the only state that forces some minors to provide extra proof they were used in sex trafficking. But that's about to change. Local 12's James Pilcher has this exclusive update. Ohio has stood alone among those fighting the sex trafficking of minors, but not for a good reason. Yet those days may be nearing an end, cheering officials like Attorney General David Yost. Well, I'm ecstatic. Uh, there's plenty more to do, but uh, what this law does is it finally puts us in line with the rest of the country. As Local 12 reported last month, Ohio currently requires 16 or 17-year-olds to prove they were forced into human trafficking before the adults behind it can be prosecuted. It's the only state to do so. The law also goes against federal standards that considers any minor involved in a commercial sex act as a human trafficking victim. But late last week, the Ohio General Assembly passed legislation erasing this so-called loophole. State Senator Teresa Fetter of Toledo has been trying to get this bill passed for 15 years. She credits ongoing media attention, like Local 12's previous stories, for helping change minds. Think of the many, many victims who have come to the powerhouse, you know, the state house. You know, their voice had to be heard over and over and over, year after year after year for this one provision in Ohio's law to protect 16 and 17 year olds. The bill goes even further. It separates the buying and selling of sex into two separate crimes and toughens penalties for both. It also creates what Yost calls a John school. Those caught buying sex for the first time can be required to take classes to learn just how damaging sex trafficking is. Yost likens it to those classes for first-time drunk driving offenders. He says it's a way to go after both suppliers and curb demand. It's modern-day slavery, and uh, I can't think of a more important evil to eradicate from the world than the buying and selling of human beings. Governor Mike DeWine still needs to sign the bill into law. His spokesman said today the governor's office was reviewing the bill. James Pilcher, Local 12 News. Minors can still be charged with prostitution in Ohio, one of 19 states that still gives prosecutors and police that option.